there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Benvenue, Buenos Tardes, good afternoon to all my people out there. I'm doing a video, like I said, you heard the intro, you know who I am, so I don't need to introduce myself. Well, then again, let me reintroduce myself. It's Mr. Warmack, and I'm fucking officially in the fucking building. Dropping knowledge, dropping smack, talking shit, you love it. So let's go in and do this thing we do. Today I'm going to talk about giving you my State of the Union address. I'm going to wrap it up for you. See, what I do is, I, I know all these big events and all this stuff happens. What I do is, I let all these... YouTube pundits, I let all the people in there get their little sayings out, get their little shit, shindigging, you know, I let them get their little shine on, then I come in and I clean it up for everybody, that's what I do, I'm the cleaner, doesn't get any meaner, so being the cleaner, I'm hitting cleanup, so I gotta knock it out the park, it's the base is loaded and I just gotta go yard on it. Now, the, but the State of Union, back to that, it's, it's, it's bottom line, it's the goal is to fight for the middle class. That's what it is. And it's State of the Union address. Uh, it was all about the middle class. It's willing to do with or without to help a And like Obama was willing, like I said, I mean, I'm sorry, it's early in the morning. I'm, I'm answering emails right here at the computer. I'm trying to listen to people. But uh, at the State of the Union, Obama's going to do it with without the help of Congress. He's already executive ordered, uh, and I'm writing this video after he did this, he executive ordered the rise of minimum wage to federal contractors for 10 bucks an hour. Who can, who can go against that? A lot of people say, well, my business so suffered. Come on, man, really? All right, whatever. Uh, I also want to talk about how the Republicans are, you know, they got to come up with a with strategy on this to help the working people, which was the original purpose, if you know Republican history, by the way. But uh, they, they, they come up with a strategy where they're, they're just the part they're the party of no and the party of one issue. You talk about any other issue that they're not hearing it. And while they're not hearing it, Obama signed executive order after executive order. How's that gonna play out in 2014 come November? You know, he's gonna use, like I said, he's gonna use executive action and like, and, and what can you say against that? Who's gonna be Who's gonna be dumb enough? Well, I know some of you Tea Party people will because you guys aren't the look who you, you got Sarah Palin as your leader. So right in there tells me a lot about some of the, the brightness of you guys. I know they were giving away sheepskin though for some of you. Some of you paid for your literally bought your sheep sheepskin. I know, but uh, the GOP isn't doing themselves any favors by denying unemployment, whether right, wrong, or different how I feel. Yes, I'll, I'll give you, there's probably people on unemployment who don't want to look for work. But the, for every one person that's not trying to look for work, there's a million out there looking for work that can't find it. Well, those are pretty high odds, so go with that. How can you, and here's what kills me, 10 bucks an hour ain't shit and nowadays, it ain't. 10 bucks an hour is not, you can't feed no family of fucking four on 10 bucks an hour. You can you can barely do you on 10 bucks an hour. Because like I said, this ain't the 90s where your money, if you worked 10 bucks an hour in the 90s, in the early 90s, yeah, you could, you were a king. I was, in, I was in a factory in the early 90s. I was making nice money, I know how it was. But now, it ain't like that no more because your dollar ain't worth it. It's, it's pretty bad the Canadian dollar is worth more than the American dollar, but I understand what the Fed does with that. But the middle class should be 50-50 uh, between the parties. It should be a split. There should be some compromise on both sides. But if you want to bone and ram middle class policies down your throat, GOP, he's going to do it. And ain't too many people want to complain about it because you guys aren't doing nothing for the middle class. So. It's either you do something for the middle class, or like I keep telling you guys, you guys are going to lose seats. 
I said the last time you did, so peace. There. That's it. That's him.